Hey YouTube, SMAC here. Showing off a little purchase I made from Bub's Delicious on Mama T's and Big T's Flea Market a couple Sundays ago. Got a sticker. Nice glossy sticker. Pretty sharp. Has a little EL tone to it. I can starting to figure out who's making whose stuff. Maybe, maybe not. She can correct me. It's a little Canadian lot I bought for ten dollars and four dollars shipping, so four, fourteen dollars total. I got fifty-four pennies. Nothing too special in there. A uh, couple to show off later. I got almost. Let's see. She actually broke it down for me. I got thirty-one nickels, and we're gonna see that one here in a minute. Actually, I think it's up front. It is not up front. It must be in the back. Pretty decent detail on George there. You can see a little bit of his band. Yeah, his beard's kind of off a little bit. You can see some detail on the coat. It's really nice. Nice detail in... There we go. Nice detail in the leaves. 1923. That is the gem of the lot by far. With that being said, there are some really nice blingers in these quarters. Boy, I'm angling this video up. Professional video videographer, huh? trying to grab it there we go it's 2018 that's a really nice one but that's there's a couple really nice ones in there from the 70s I mean you know what they look like it's no big deal so there's my pennies the 38 was a nice penny um, I didn't look for any errors on the 64s or any of the other ones uh, some really nice quarters um, the 77 was really nice uh, a couple of these 79s were almost uncirculated that 18 was uncirculated so if you're you know I will be putting together a book I have a couple that I need to start filling out so that was so that was nice um, again that coin there is the is the gem so it's about eight dollars in Canadian money I paid 14 for it Got it all logged into Numista. Yes, I am an Excel physics freak. I like stats. I like to go all over it. Um, I thought this one might have been close to uncirculated, but I had somebody look at it and explain to me why it was closer to XF. Um, the 1923 George Nickel. And she was right. Um, I get sent her some pics, and she's like, yeah, it's not, the, it's not as high as I thought it should have been. Uh, in AU condition, it's like a $20 coin. In XF condition, it's like a $10 coin. So that one coin alone paid for the lot. Um, and I also use this to show the shapes. So I had quite a few of the 12-sided pennies and quite a few of the 12-sided nickels. So I like to pull those out. And also got a $1 piece and a dime in there. So pretty good Canadian lot. Again, I bought from Bub's Delicious. Right there is her channel. Nice uh, national park, and looks like George sitting up there. Or not George, that's that's Kennedy. All right, so Bub's Delicious, 360 subscribers. Let's see what kind of videos she's been doing here. She loves. Well, I know she does lots of mail calls because she does lots of buying. You see her everywhere nabbing up stuff. She knows what she's doing. Mail call, mail call, mail call. Uh, hunt. She did a little quarter hunt. That's kind of cool. And let's see. Little, looks like a sticker trade. Anyway, very talented numismatist. Does lots of collecting. She knows what she's doing. It was nice to have a exchange with her and I appreciate her putting that lot up for sale uh, I do enjoy the Canadians so that helped me out a lot and I spent about two hours 
putting them on new Mista and grading them and going over them and I'm going to spend another half hour putting them in flips so kind of fun uh, definitely $14 worth of uh, entertainment on my end and I hope that uh, she was able to clear out some desk space for herself and get some more items so pretty cool deal I uh, appreciate her putting that up into the flea market I nabbed it up and that 23 will fit nice into my collection because I did not have one alright thanks guys Bye.